Hi there. In this video I want to show you a little simple trick that helped me to solve problem which I had while using Reaper DAW. Sometime earlier I was using simple portable keyboard by Yamaha. Here it is, Yamaha PSR E443. After some time of working in Reaper, I had lack of mod wheel and any other controllers for sending MIDI CC data into Reaper. At first sight my Yamaha's keyboard doesn't have any controllers, but it's not true. To show it, I will create a new track, I will change input to MIDI, and also I am turning on a record monitoring on this track. So if I press any key on keyboard, I will see this indicator, which means receiving of MIDI data. To see more about incoming data, I will add plugin Rear Control MIDI on this track. Then press Show Log button. And now if I press any key on keyboard, I can see information about incoming nodes, their channel and also velocity parameter. Using this MIDI activity log, I found that my keyboard is actually have two knobs that sends MIDI CC data into computer but the parameters that these knobs sending is not what I need. It's CC46 and CC47 instead of CC1 for mod wheel and uh, CC11 for expression parameter. But now knowing which parameter these two knobs sending, I can simply change it by adding on track MIDI CC mapper plugin. Then on its interface, we're changing uh, controller source for 46, which is my first knob on keyboard, and controller target parameter for mod wheel, which is CC1. Then for expression controller, I will add MIDI CC mapper once again, uh, change controller source parameter for 47, which is our second knob and controller target parameter is expression. Now to check out the changes, I will add one more rear control MIDI plugin after MIDI CC mapper plugins. Now in our first rear control MIDI, we can see that knobs sending old information is CC46 and CC47. And now in rear control MIDI, which placed after MIDI CC mappers, we can see that knobs sending CC1 for mod wheel and CC11 for expression, which I needed. So now if you have keyboard like mine, you can try to make it to send MIDI CC data. Also, if you're using MIDI keyboard with many controllers on it, like uh, faders or knobs, you can easily remap it for your actual needs. So thank you for watching this video, it would be great if you found it useful.